Hello everybody and welcome back to a game that is not the unturned. Today we're... we're... What the heck is that thing? <laughs> what? This is not what I was, I was expecting to do this morning. Um... Um, I'm, I'm being killed. Okay. What the heck is this? And why is it in my base? Come on. FBI! <laughs> they're, they're here already. They're raiding now. Okay, we're being raided by the FBI. <laughs> oh, this is just amazing. This is the best way to start off an episode. <laughs> this is... Yeah, so this is my Minecraft server. Welcome. It's, uh... It's kind of, kind of PvP and uh, kind of, kind of, kind of PvE. Where did these things come from? Why are these in my base? Come on, come on. Oh, come on, man! Assimilated bear? Where are these FBI agents at? We need to secure the area because they're coming for my machines. They're coming for my machines. <laughs> Where are my Tesla coils? Where did I put those? Come on! I gotta be more organized. Th this whole base is a mess, by the way. Yeah, because I'm not alone here, and, uh, well, we, we don't really keep things very organized. Can I buy my Tesla coils? Wait, I know where I put my Tesla coils. They're in the, uh, safe room over here. Very safe room. Tesla coils. Okay, we gotta fight off the FBI, and, uh, also these, these parasites that keep coming. Um, hi! Uh, I did not expect you to fit through that door. Uh, don't mind me, I am just going to place down a, uh, Tesla coil. If you get out of the way, I can do it. I, I can help you out here, big time. It, it will really help you and make your day brilliant. Here, take... There we go. I think that was a good zap. Okay, let me just go in here. Uh... Yeah, everything's alright. It's perfect. Cool. Uh, I think I should set up more of these. You know, I think that might have came out the nether portal, and, uh, just in case. I'm gonna start placing down more of these in the base. I already have a ton of these in the base. Um, I actually have... Hi. Me? That don't, that don't look like me. I get zapped. <laughs> this will keep out anything. And then down here, I have three more of them. <laughs> Tesla coils are just great. They're amazing. Got so many of them. Keeping the base secure. Y yeah, well, anyway, today we were gonna go and do something interesting. Something besides me just walking around and fighting off who knows what. Actually, I need to go upstairs and secure the upstairs area. We are under attack, of course, and, uh, they're gonna destroy our machines next. So, yeah, I don't want... I don't feel like losing the, um, what's it called? The assembly machine or the, uh, the, um, what's this? So I'm just gonna set down some Tesla coils to guard these from, from any silly attackers. Would-be attackers, I should say. Who might come and attack our, um, you know, our stuff. So if you're curious about joining this, then just go check the, um, you know, what's it called? The, the community section, and you'll you'll find any, uh, you'll find the Discord, and you can just join there, and, uh, we'll be able to get you on. It's not for the, um, it's not my community Discord, it's just the, uh, server Discord for the, the for this server. So, there you go. Uh, anyway, today we're gonna make a farm, because farms are cool, and, uh, this is going to be a pretty simple farm, involving those guys in there. I don't think... Oh, come on. Are we... Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect. Uh, so we had to lock down that area a while ago. And uh, I did take out... This room here was filled with Tesla coils as well. Or not Tesla coils. Spiders. Spider spawners. Uh, cra crab spiders. These are not your regular Minecraft spiders. These things will kill you instantly. Uh, these are these are not great. They're cyber crabs, and they um, they just explode. You can see them coming towards me right now, shooting me with magic laser beams and negatively charged howans. Uh, they're not very fun, but they do drop gold wire, which is something quite useful. 
not for being used as wire, but rather to be made into ingots. Because you can actually make gold wire into ingots, and that is, that is very potent and amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, demonstrate the power of gold wire right here. And uh, six gold ingots, and boom. What about superconductors? Advanced alloy. See, look, you can get superconductors from them too. So farming these guys is uh, kind of, kind of um, something worthwhile, something worth looking at. Which we don't really have much in the way of farming supplies. Like we only have like buckets of water. We don't have like any fans or fanciness or anything. So we're gonna have to do with vanilla stuff. But I think we can just pour water everywhere in there, and it should just work. And it will push them towards one side, and they can still spawn. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. I have not tested it. If it doesn't work, then uh, we could always just use a iron golem trick and get him to walk towards the iron golem if, well, somehow. I don't know how that would work. That would be very difficult to do. So we're gonna have to figure some things out here. Of course, the first step is to board up the wall with the cobblestone. Oh, come on, cobblestone. Oh. There we go, now I'm through the door. <laughs> okay, so we need to just board up this wall of cobblestone. There we go. Because this this is a mess. Right now this is a mess. And uh, we'll have to change all these walls out at some point in the future. And the roof as well with some concrete bricks. Which, there is a shop. If you didn't know, shop is amazing. You can buy like a million different things. Uh, a lot of different things. Oh my. There's parasites in there. <laughs> and they're being... Okay, so yeah, they don't really like me being here. Which is fine. We need to push them towards, like, this wall right here. So doing that is going to require a bit of effort and uh, a bit of magic and all of that. What we're gonna do is pour some water in. I, I, I don't know where we're gonna pour the water in. We're just gonna pour it in there. So, like, um... Right there. I wonder if the water kills him. That might be a problem if it does. And, uh, yeah, as we can see, they are getting pushed. They're getting pushed to that one wall, which is fine. Okay, I need to use some of these thin packs. Because I just got hit really hard. Oh, they aren't immune to water. I, I think they die when they land in the water. <laughs> so so basically they spawn in and they, they die, and then we don't have to do anything. Because no matter what, they drop their loot, which is uh, kind of kind of overpowered, some might say. Yeah, they just die the second they touch water. <laughs> they, so they aren't waterproof, which is amazing. I love that. That's great. That's going to help us out quite a lot here. So there's gonna have to be another water through this wall here. Uh, except, uh, that's the end of it. So, um, yeah. We don't have to put water there. We do have to put more water down at the other sections. Uh, but we do have to make sure there is water there. Ow. Please stop shooting me. I'm trying to make a farm here. Okay, you just gotta pour the water into the... It's kind of hard to do when you're nauseated from being hit in the face. Okay, let's see if we got it. I don't think we did. Okay, uh, yeah, it seems to be... This is working incredibly well. Ow, stop. Stop shooting me. I'm just here to do some, some general maintenance, okay? Oh, look at this. Next thing we have to do is get rid of all these cobwebs, because they're causing the stuff to get stuck. Ooh, I'm having some ping issues. That's fine. That's fine. I think I got a bucket of water down, though. Come on, let me through the door, ping. Perfect. We have to walk through the door before it even opens. <laughs> okay, let's see what's next. Uh, so we have... Um, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Just gonna pour some of this into into here and uh, hopefully not get shot in the face. Okay, I am getting shot a lot in the face. That's fine though. We're doing good. 
soon we'll have armor that protects us against getting shot in the face by these guys. Because these guys just suck. Like, working with them is difficult. It's like skeletons, but like... Ten times more annoying than skeletons, okay? I, I, don't, I don't even think skeletons can compare to this. Oh, I need to take a skin pack. These guys are horrible. Ow. So actually, after taking a look in there and uh, noticing some things, they don't seem to be spawning except for on one edge. What the heck is that thing? Well, I, I don't think it matters now, it's dead. Like, why are our space spiders being infected by parasites? What is this? What is going on? Why? Why does this happen? Oh, look, another parasite spider. What the heck are these? <clears throat> I, I don't understand. But okay, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and get shot by negative charged Tawans. Fine, okay. Uh, so here's the plan. The new plan. The one that doesn't involve, um... Yeah. What we just did. We're gonna we're gonna just fix up what we did and uh I don't know. I'm thinking we go in and like just cover the whole thing in, in uh granite so that way we don't have to deal with them spawning while we take care of the actual important stuff. So I think what we could do is we could put the water underneath the spawners and then they'll fall into it. We'll have to use trapdoors for that and it will it will work good. It will work good, okay? Trust me. Now I, I need to take care of this issue, um, get out of here, I will shoot you with my Uzi, and I will also slap you with this axe if you get too close, okay, cool. I'm gonna start building a bit of cobblestone, no, not cobblestone, fun stone. Please don't shoot me. Okay. Please don't riddle me with charged Tawans, I, I don't really want to do that. They're shooting through walls and stuff. I mean, that's, that's fine and crazy and oh my. I don't know what's on the ground, but it's making it so I can't place blocks. It's like annoying. Okay, we're going in. We're deep in the dupe now. What the heck is that thing? Get out, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, good. Charge him with the Tawans. Well, apparently they can't spawn in this room anymore. Or, or can they? I just got hit by something. So if you're wondering what my logic is and why I'm covering this in uh, granite, I'm just covering it in granite so that way they can't spawn, and then we'll take off the granite and then they will be able to spawn again. But only after we do all the work underneath and all that. And I don't think we're gonna get to that today because uh, how much time have we used? We've used a lot of time, haven't we? Probably. I don't know, but we've, we've, we've used a good deal of time. Yeah, I guess the next thing we have to do is get rid of all these cobwebs, because they're, they're, they're just kind of annoying, even for me while I'm building it. Look at this. It gets stuck in the cobwebs. The gold gets stuck in the cobwebs. All the stuff gets stuck in the cobwebs, and we and we don't want that. We want we want no cobwebs. But I honestly had no idea that pouring water on them would uh, just make them not spawn, which is, that's, that's useful. That's super great to know, because now we can deal with all of the other spawners that happen to be here. For example, there's a whole nother room, like, over there. And there, there's even more off, like, literally everywhere around us, because this place is huge. This is a massive dungeon, and, uh, we happen to have decided to build our base on top of it. Which is amazing. Alright, so I clear out the cobwebs now, and, uh, all we have to do is go underneath everything, and, uh, Set up the, the water pathing and all of that stuff. So that should be pretty simple to do. Shouldn't be too difficult. But I think we're going to have to save that for the next episode. Or actually, I might do it outside episode. Because honestly, saves a bit of time. Wait, where'd we get this stuff? Come on. Alright, so if you all have enjoyed this episode, then uh, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. I will see you all next time, and uh, goodbye.